right, so today I'll be showing you a few tips that you can use to minimize your iPhone 13's battery drain. Basically how to extend or how to get the most of your iPhone 13's battery without your phone dying on you. And these tips are basically just practical tips you can employ while using your phone almost normally. Alright, so first is screen brightness. And if you go into settings and then go to display and brightness, here you can adjust the brightness of your screen and the lower the brightness is the more you save your battery but you can also make this automatic by going back to accessibility and then go to display and text size and then at the bottom of that page you should see auto brightness and you need to turn that on if it's off turn it on and that will vary your brightness depending on where you are and only increase your brightness when you need it to be bright now another way you can increase your iPhone 13's battery life is by using the dark mode feature. So to enable dark mode, simply go to settings and then go to display and brightness. And at the top there, you should see it's in light mode by default. You can tap on dark and that will enable dark mode. And since this is an OLED panel, it means all these black pixels are actually pixels that are off. So basically you're not using as much battery life as you would use if this were you know shining the bright white light so dark mode will go a long way in saving your iphone's battery life the other thing you can do is to optimize battery charging so if you go into settings and then go to battery and then go into battery health at the bottom there you should see optimized battery charging so you can turn that on and that will optimize your battery charging and save your battery from aging faster and in the long run, you should get more battery life out of your battery in everyday use. So make sure you go to the battery health settings and optimize battery charging by turning that on. All right, so the other thing you can do to save your battery is to disable location services, especially for apps you do not need. So go into settings and then you want to go to privacy. And under privacy, you should see location services. You can see mine is already turned off so make sure you turn yours off just like me unless you really need to use location services for a specific app so for instance if you want to use google maps to navigate somewhere you might have to turn on location services but then you can turn it on and then go to specific apps and turn it off for apps that don't need to use it so for instance when you're using an app like filmic pro which is what i use to film i really don't need location services so turn that off for an app like Uber, I do need location services on. So if you tap on Uber, you can choose to have location services on only while using the app. If you leave it to always, for instance, it's going to drain your battery life for no reason. The other thing you can do to save your iPhone's battery life is to make a habit of closing apps running in the background that you no longer need. So if you do a quick swipe like this, you should see all the apps running in your background. And sometimes there are so many apps running in the background and they're draining your iPhone's battery and you don't really need these apps running in the background. So make sure you close these apps. You can keep doing that and close all the apps running in the background so that they stop draining unnecessary battery juice from your iPhone 13 Pro's battery. Another tip for saving your iPhone 13 battery is to reduce the frame rate or basically limit the frame rate to 60 hertz. Now this iPhone 13 displays can go up to 90 hertz refresh rate. Now sometimes you don't really need 90 hertz. Actually, for me, most of the time I don't really need 90 hertz refresh rate. And as you know, the higher the refresh rate, the higher the battery drain. So you might want to limit the refresh rate to 60 hertz, which is also pretty good, and save a bit of battery. So to do that, go to settings and then go to accessibility. And then under accessibility, you want to go to motion, tap on that, and then you should see the option to limit frame rate, which basically limits the frame rate to 60 hertz. So turn that on and your phone will never go above 60 hertz and you'll be able to save a bit of battery. Lastly, you can go ahead and enable low power mode. And this basically limits things like background app refresh. So basically apps in the background will not be fetching data from the internet so the low power mode basically reduces unnecessary drain on the battery and the low power mode is an actual feature that you can 
turn on just like that and you can tell your iphone 13 is in low power mode because the battery icon turns yellow now this is just an icon i created in the control center but if you want to access low power mode feature in your settings simply go to settings and then go to battery and then you should see low power mode and you can turn it on from there if you want it in the control center go to settings and then go to control center and then make sure you add it there as you can see mine has been added low power mode so if it's not there let me just remove it so go ahead and add low power mode to the items in the control center and now you should be able to see it in the control center from where you can turn it on and off quickly and these are the few tips you can use to extend your iphone's battery life or basically to make your battery life last longer thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips until the next one my name is chris and touch you guys in the next one